Golden State where it's going to stay and continue to go. This is forever your house. It's easy to think about how the seniors feel right now. Last time walking out into that stadium, arguably the best venue in all of sports. Think about when you were in high school and you knew it was your last game. It's magnified for college players. So let's play and let's give these seniors what they deserve. A party in Beaver Stadium. Who's this is Unrivaled, the Penn State football story presented by Pepsi. My mom, every week, gets some sort of dessert for the offensive line. Hi, Tracy. Have your delivery. These guys never get any recognition unless there's a holding penalty. No one ever calls your name or their number. And I honestly think it's the hardest position on the team. Sorry to everyone else. I think it's the hardest position. For her, uh, those are the guys that kind of protect her baby. She wants to make sure they feel loved and they're happy. She started that doing it in high school. She takes pride in that and she's, you know, continued to do that here. They work so hard, they really don't get recognized. So that's what it's about. It's just giving them something extra. But yeah, Antonio Shelton asked me last week if the D-line could get in on it and I said no. <laughs> they, get, they get enough recognition. She loves it. You know, she's just trying to, you know, do her job and kind of you know have a have a part uh, in the team and in the program. I mean, the opportunity to play for Coach Franklin at Vanderbilt came around. He was wanted as a quarterback. But when this whole thing came up with uh, coming to play at Penn State and Coach Franklin asked him, does he know much about it? He did. You know, there was a real strong connection with our coaching staff, Coach Ronnie and myself, uh, and with the parents. And I think Penn State's a place that he really always wanted to go to. When he had the conversation with Trace, and um, Trace was being recruited as a quarterback, he said, look, I don't know what you did to Coach Ronnie when he saw you, but you're coming here. And it's cool to be wanted. I think they realize how much we care about their son, how much we care about their family, how much we care about Penn State, and what's great for Trace, and what's great for their family, and what's great for us. They all complement one another. I had a good life. Good high school, good schools, great families around. Always had a big community family. My parents did everything they could for me and my sisters so that we could be able to chase our dreams and do what we wanted to do and be successful. You know, they've been through every game my entire career. He is what he what you see on the field, what you see off the field. He's introverted, extremely shy, you know, off the field, on the field when he gets into a game. He just had that alpha mentality. We've been waiting for our opportunity to be back on the field and together as a family. Trace is another guy that's doing extremely well academically. But overall, just a fantastic family. You know, fantastic representation of, of Penn State and what we're all about. I just, you know, it, it's still it's a long Okay, I just sounds good. Upstairs, so yeah, I was here last year. I think okay. I remember you. This is McSorley with the W right here. <laughs> yes. She loves us. Uh, you got to love Mr. McSorley. Good, man. I got it. Look what we got in here. Mrs. McSorley loves her boys to protect her son. Yes, he does. I mean, seeing my parents every single game, uh, walking in uh, through the walk, being able to you know, hug my mom and my dad, it means everything to me. That's one of the reasons why I kind of wanted to come to Penn State was so I could be close to home so they could be able to make the games. You kind of have that, that, really that family atmosphere that you have here in the program. Coach Franklin preaching, uh, that's how he, he treats everyone as a family. I bought into that and that's kind of what really stuck with me and knew, made me know that I wanted to play here at Penn State. The thing is, you take for granted uh, every day on you know, what amazing atmosphere this is, what amazing time it is to play in front of these fans. One message that I always have for the seniors and anybody that's been able to put on the blue and white is take advantage of every second. Uh, hats off to Coach James Franklin and the job that he's done with these kids. When we were here, it was all about success with honor. And I think that he's, he's taken that approach with his team. We have a lot of depth in certain situations and in certain positions. I'm excited for, you know, Trace McSorley as well as Tommy Stevens. I think our future is bright. No matter what you do in life, you'll never, ever get a chance to play in front of 100,000 people again. So cherish that moment as I did in my senior day. My mom was here, my family was here. The crowd was rocking. It's a lot of great memories being here at Beaver Stadium.
This is Unrivaled, the Penn State football story presented by Pepsi. This is Unrivaled, the Penn State football story presented by Pepsi. Speaking of enjoying those moments, senior day, you got to watch this first class go all four years. What, what comes to mind when you're watching them enjoy their last moments at Beaver Stadium? Coming into the stadium, and I see Grant Haley's mom, and she starts crying, and you know, and you know, I'm like, I'm not gonna let you get me, you know, I'm fighting, fighting it back myself. Then when all those guys are running out, you get a chance to say goodbye to those guys and give them a hug. It's emotional, you know, but you're also really proud because you know these guys are prepared to go on and do wonderful things in life and be great fathers and husbands and businessmen and leaders or, or whatever it may be. You know, you hate to see them go, but I think that's what's also special about college football. You know, you have them from, you know, four to five years. You know, you watch them come in and they think they got all the answers when they show up and then they get humbled and then they build their confidence back up and they grow and they evolve in so many different ways. And I, I tell them all the time that it's my job that, you know, by the time they graduate that, you know, I should want to hire them one day. Really, that, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying for these guys to, to take the foundation that their parents have laid, build on it in every way academically, athletically, socially, and spiritually, and they leave and ready to go out, and, and you know they're going to do wonderful things. Last time walking out in that stadium, arguably the best venue in all of sports. Hey, brother, like I said, it's the last time we the stadium. Got to put on the show. I'm a dog. I'm a villain. I'm a villain. Let's go, man. Hello, Hello. 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 Let's go. But you freshmen right now, I want you to think about what this means to these seniors and how you are going to feel when it's your last time. Let's go, baby! Think about when you were in high school and you knew it was your last game. It's magnified for college players. This game ends for a lot of us after college. So let's play and let's give these seniors what they deserve. A party in Beaver State. The game of football is unbelievable, man. Unbelievably special. Unbelievably special because for me and for a lot of the coaches in this room, it was the first time that we watched a group go from freshmen to seniors, from boys to men. Today, you walk out there and you start making your own echo. Because for every time, for every time, this will be the last time you will walk out into that stadium. And they'll start saying your name. Cabinda, Adams, Chavis. They'll start hearing Kisiki. It'll start floating around that room. Nobody can ever take that from you. You have submitted what this program is and will always be. Oh! Big 10 chance, baby. That state is You will walk out that stadium today as a man of character with a nameless jersey, a nameless jersey, but with the heart of a lion, with the protection of the blue and the white and the black cleats that will never leave your heart. I want to thank you for everything you did for this program and how you brought Penn State where it's going to stay and continue to go. This is Unrivaled, the Penn State football story presented by Pepsi. You live thousands of days in your lifetime and only 52, maybe 53, 54, do you get the opportunity to play a college football game. So when people ask, what is there to play for, that question you might not get. It. Have fun. You don't get you. You guys don't get this back. Have fun. Make plays. Get in the end zone. Let's party. Let's go. Let's go to work. Let's go. Saquon Barkley to the house, touchdown! Saquon Barkley!
Saquon Barkley takes it 65 yards to the house, and the Nittany Lions do what they needed to do. They jump out in front. And 57 seconds into the game, the Nittany Lions have themselves a 7-0 lead. Snap, it's Will Bond, and there's Kevin Givens, and they're cleaned up by Jason Cabinda, one yard gain. Lee takes it, play action fake. Back, three man rush with time, throws down, field knocked away, and incomplete by Jason Cabinda. Sorley takes it, rolls to the far side, delivers to Hamilton, turns inside, first down. He was able to get the first down with the inside move. He did a good job keeping his eyes downfield and converting up there. Down. McSorley over the middle. Completes the pass. Breaking a tackle is Juwan Johnson. Saquon Barkley. Breaking it outside. Barkley to the end zone. And Barkley gets it. Touchdown. Saquon Barkley ties Lionel Mitchell's all time rushing touchdown. With 38. Devino Sigbo hit in the backfield. He's going to lose two yards. Parker Cothran, part of the law firm of Cothran and Cothran, is the first one to make contact. Otherwise, he was taking that one to the house. McSorley throws over the middle and completes the pass to Saeed Blackdahl for the first down. We're in the option. It's kept by McSorley into the end zone for the touchdown. Trace McSorley knocks it home for the 10th time this season on the ground, and now Penn State with back-to-back -back scoring drives. 21 to 10 right now. I don't know about you, Coach, but I kind of get the feeling this is a big series here for Nebraska. Absolutely. Back goes Lee. Pressure throws far side off the turf and incomplete. Third three and out of the game for the Cornhuskers and a shake here by Lightborn. Kosicki with the touchdown catch, the 12th of his career. What a great career Mike has had. The Nittany Lions lead at 28 to 10. Right now, Penn State essentially can do whatever it wants, whenever it wants. They dump it off to Stevens in the flat. 15, timing to the 10, inside the 10 and down to the eight yard line. Good block by Hamilton in open field. Give it to Barkley, and Barkley gets into the end zone again. A three touchdown day for Saquon Barkley. 35 10 Nittany Lions, they're not done yet. Nebraska, they've been able to do nothing offensively against one of the best defenses in all of college football, Penn State. Lead back, pressure hit, and down he goes. McSorley, over the middle, touchdown, DeAndre Tompkins. The round is on here in Happy Valley. Penn State with 35 unanswered points, a defense registering five consecutive zero, three zero, and outs. Zero, zero. It's like zero, zero, man, right? Yes, sir. It's zero, zero. Yes, sir. That's the mindset. Let's go. Zero, zero, nothing changes. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Steps up, down he goes. High throw 
is it a catch? It yeah. is. They're going to say it's a catch. Hauled in by Jawan Johnson. There goes Stevens in motion. They pump fake to him. Now they're going to bring it over to him. The backup quarterback tight ropes the sideline. McSorley to the end zone. Touchdown. 49-24, Nittany Lions. Wasicki gets his second touchdown catch of the day. Can you let that be my last play in Beaver Stadium? I appreciate you. Lee goes back, hit and down he goes. Tyrell Chavis. Stevens, quarterback draw, bounces to the outside, it's open. My good vision that time by Tommy Stevens. Is a touchdown. So Penn State's going to win it 56 to 44. Good teaching moment for a lot yeah. of young guys out there. Could be another win for Penn State to move on. Stadium. Never forget it. There's an old saying that, that you stand on the shoulders of those who have gone before you. All right, these seniors have set a pretty high bar for the guys and a great example moving forward for this program. From myself, from the offensive coaching staff, and from the rest of the underclassmen, uh, let's give it up for our senior class. Listen to me. Some of you guys should be very proud of. Obviously, sending the seniors out the right way. Yeah. Penn State has not been undefeated in back-to-back -back seasons at home in 31 years. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. So it starts with that Let's get a break. Yeah. His first career touchdown. Yeah. 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 Family on three. One, two, three, family. Unrivaled, the Penn State football story is brought to you by Pepsi. Grab a Pepsi and some friends and get in the game. Pepsi, proud partner of the Penn State Nittany Lions. Also brought to you in part by PSECU. Since 1934, PSECU has given Pennsylvanians financial opportunities to live a better life. At PSECU, we are proud of who we are and committed to who we serve because our Pennsylvania roots run deep. We are banking on a difference. This week on campus in Penn State Athletics, the Nittany Lion men's basketball team is back in the Bryce Jordan Center Friday afternoon at 3 o'clock to take on Oral Roberts. Friday night at Pagula Ice Arena, the Nittany Lion men's ice hockey team will take on Michigan State. They'll drop the puck at 7 o'clock. And Saturday, Penn State and Michigan State meet again at ice hockey at Pagula Ice Arena. This time on Saturday night, they'll drop the puck at 8 o'clock. That's this week in Penn State Athletics. Coach Durkin does a great job, got a lot of respect for him. We've kind of been competing against him for a number of years. It just seems like our paths continue to cross. So it's going to be a tremendous challenge to go on the road and play, play a conference opponent, um, which it always is. Uh, there are no huddle offense, tempo, check with me, RPOs. They love to run the split zone play. And then they'll attack the alley using, you know, uh, smoke and mirrors, taking shots, and running screens. So they do they do a really good job offensively. Just for me to play my last game, uh, the regular season, um, in my hometown, that's 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 pretty awesome. It's going to be like a backyard football game. I mean, going back, uh, you know, being able to play kind of back in. Um, at home, for lack of a better term. Um, I mean, Maryland Stadium's 45 minutes from my house. So it's right there. I've been to games there as a recruit and kind of as, as a young kid. It's awesome kind of be able to go back and play in that venue that I'm kind of familiar with, playing in my neck of the woods. You know, all we got to do is play smash my football and just play our physical D. That will take care of itself. 
I, I'm pretty sure the stadium's gonna be crowd, like riled up. I think everyone, uh, the locker room that I was kind of stepping into was, you know, we're gonna come in, we're gonna work hard, uh, we're gonna compete in everything that we did, um, and then uh, we were just, you know, gonna, you know, be building a kind of a process. And now where we're at now, it's not building that process; it's carrying on, uh, kind of what's been built over the last couple of years, and uh, assuming that role of uh, making sure that this program stays where where it needs to be. And you got to study the thing that we're telling you to study. They do a lot of screen game, Chavis, so we got to be on top of our screen. They do enough with the back away from you where the guy could come here or this could be an insert play where they're blocking heavy there. All right, so my point is both sides will then sack. We will not have an issue with that, okay? Now this running back now, he can take a hit, spin, take a hit, run. All right, he's going to run as hard as anybody we face, and he's not going to go down easy. So we got to do a great job of wrapping him up. Strike! That's it. Keep them feet. Strike. That's awesome. Good body lean. Good job. Punchy! Go! Okay. That's it. Go. Marty, there you go, Marty. Go, go, go! Swing it! Swing it! Keep going, keep going, keep going! Keep going. Find the ball, find the ball, find the ball! Oh, 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 oh